Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torrance. So today I want to take a look at my Kensington System Saver, which cools down my Apple II Plus and my Apple IIe, uh, but it's also quite noisy, so I'm going to see if I can make it quieter. So let's get started. see what kind of noise level we're dealing with here so I've got the decibel meter on and if I just shut up for a second we can see it's reading about 45 without the fan on so now I'll go ahead and I'll turn on the fan all right so we're shooting for quieter than 67 68 so here's the Kensington system saver and as you know it's got two plugs on the back for AC, uh, if you want to plug in, say, a printer or a monitor. And then inside, it's got a fan. Now, what I did a couple years ago is I actually replaced the original fan uh, with a slightly newer one. Um, and I also put in a couple resistors just to try and cut down the voltage and quiet it. But this didn't really help. It was still pretty noisy. So instead, what I'm going to do is, rather than use a 120-volt fan, I'm going to use a fancier, newer Noctua 12-volt fan. This is the same one that Henry Corbis uses in his 2E cooler, which is a brand new clone of the uh, Kensington System Saver. And then all I'm going to do is I took a 12 volt power supply adapter and just tore it apart. And I'm going to use this to wire into the AC on the Kensington System Saver to power the 12 volt fan. So let's go ahead and we'll take this fan out and we'll wire up the 12 volt power supply and try out the new fan. Okay, we've got the Noctua fan wired up now, and I'm just using some alligator clips to get the AC power uh, just to test. So we need to be really careful we don't actually touch any of these. So the interesting thing about these fans is they come with different adapters, uh, which presumably just contain resistors inside. But you can basically put it into the regular mode, which is 2,000 RPMs, or you can put in one of the adapters to cut it down to 1,600 RPMs. And then if you really want to make it quiet, you can put in the uh, other adapter, which is the one I have in right now, which cuts it down to 1200 RPMs, uh, just depending on how much airflow you need and how quiet you want it to be. So let's go ahead and we'll turn it on. Okay, so the fan's on and we're reading about 53. And I can't actually hear it at all from where I'm standing. So this is about the quietest fan I've ever not heard. So let's go ahead and put it into the Kensington and we'll stick it into the Apple II Plus and uh, see how it works. So just some notes about replacing the fan. This is the NF-A8FLX, which is a 80 millimeter. And the cool thing about that is that the width is exactly the same as the old fan. In fact, once you've drilled out the little plastic nubs that hold the old fan on, it'll actually fit right on the remaining nubs exactly. And for the circuit board for the 12 volt adapter, uh, I decided the only real place to mount it was underneath the switch here uh, where there's a flat piece of plastic. I thought about mounting it up here, but it won't fit with the cover of the case. So I'm just gonna use some double stick tape to attach that down. And to do that, I had to flip around the little plugs here on the switch uh, just so I could slip it underneath. And finally, when you're wiring up everything, just make sure to keep track of which is the positive and the negative. So, for example, on the fan, there's three wires, the black, the red, and the yellow. Uh, black is ground, red is 12 volt, and the yellow is actually a control wire, which you won't need because uh, you're not hooking this into a PC. For the 12 volt adapter, there, at least on my board, there were two markings on the board, an N and an L, N for neutral, L for load. And so just make sure to wire those for the correct uh, color. So the neutral is the white here, so that's this. And the L is the load, and that's the black one here. Last thing is the ground wire. So the old fan was made out of metal, and so it actually used the ground wire here, uh, which is the green one. Uh, the new fan is all plastic, so you don't really need it, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mount it uh, just using the same screw onto the fan itself just so it isn't loose inside the case. 
As far as attaching the fan itself into the assembly, I think I'm just going to put some epoxy uh, on the remaining plastic pins here and then just glue it down in place. So I've got the new Kensington System Saver hooked up to my Apple II Plus and the new fan is whisper quiet, I can barely hear it. Uh, it seems to produce about the same airflow as the old one, so I think it'll work fine for cooling off the system. The new fan draws so little current that you could actually probably just mount the 12 volt fan directly inside the Apple II and power it directly off of the 12 volt supply inside the Apple II. Uh, it uses about 0 0.07 amps of current, so it's really tiny. So if you have an old Kensington system saver that you want to make quiet, I would definitely recommend getting one of these Noctua fans. Uh, the conversion was really easy. Or if you don't have a Kensington system saver, uh, I'd recommend getting one of Henry Corbis's 2E coolers, and I'll have a link to that down in the show notes. I'm going to go off and play some wizardry now, so thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.